Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today we'll be seeing a game between Bonnie and Law. Here is the deck profile of Bonnie, it will be in the description as well. And you guys will now see my deck profile, which is Law deck profile, so yeah, there you go. Now, I'm very sorry if there's any problems with the quality of the video, I had problems with editing it. Uh, and I couldn't put the angle of the camera very well for this tool because we were in a hurry <laughs> But uh, I did the best I could with the power of editing and I still think you guys can see the the cards that are played And I will be telling you guys what it is. So we just won the dice roll by the way I chose to go second obviously to steal the, bon the Bonnie uh, curve place So yeah, I decided out to mulligan my first hand by the way just so you guys know when it comes, there will be three games by the way that will be uploading, I will upload them separately between Bonnie and Law, so yeah. Uh, about the editing here, I did minimal editing, I just tried to make you guys see the game uh, better. Uh, and uh, whenever we counter, I decide to put the image of the card that we use to counter, just to make sure that we see everything that is going on in the game. So yeah. So there you go, everything is set up, the game is starting, he plays the Bonnie, passes turn, I draw one, two dons, and I shall pass turn, there's not much I can do. So it's Bonnie time, it's Bonnie's turn again. He searches with Bonnie. And what is he going to get? He gets the Huroge. And he plays a second Bonnie and searches with it right away. Let's see what he gets with the second search. By the way, this game is sped up. It is sped up. It's not much because I was afraid not have. He gets Cavendish. It's not much because I was afraid not having the time to talk, whatever I wanted. So yeah. But it is sped up. So he gets a Cavendish and he swings 5k onto leader. We counter with Zorojuro 1k. Very unfortunate, Zorojuro uh, would be good if I was going first. Oh yeah, we swing into Bonnie. Obviously, we take it away and we play Ein. Ein giving us one rested on. Then leader effect bottom decking the second searcher Bonnie. Playing the Shashin Penguin, getting our Dawn back. So pretty much we drop two bodies and then drop two bodies on our field by while not losing Don. We KO'd two bodies, so to speak. We bottom decked one and KO'd another. So yeah, we are really well set up now. We got a good starting hand with that mulligan. So yeah. At least with that with this combo. He's at five Don. Let's see what he plays. So he's thinking. I'm I'm guessing Cavendish, right? It makes sense. Okay, never mind. 6k on two leader. We take that. That's a, a card. Oh, he plays a Rouge. Okay, he got the Rouge on the first search. So yeah, passes turn. Rouge ability to uh, activate one down back. So Bonnie still has her leader ability. We are at six down. Correct. Yes. So 5k onto leader, Bonnie leader ability, resting Shashin Penguin, and he just blocks with Huroge, trying to get, I think he was afraid I was just bottom deck Huroge and he wouldn't get that much, um, that much value. Now he's seeing 6k onto leader, he takes. It's pretty safe to take. And then we use 5 Dawn to play Queen. Queen effect. We draw 2. And don't worry. I forgot to discard 1. But I will discard while my friend is setting the things active. And so what? There you go. We discard an Ein with the Queen effect. Bonnie at 7 Dawn if I'm not mistaken. 
Bonnie swings into Shashin Penguin, we just block, it's a free block pretty much. He could play Hody, he plays Hody, he would just rest our uh, Queen, so mine as well. He taps six on, puts the Hawkins, and passes turn. So I'm not gonna lie, this turn Bonnie did not get that much value. I don't know what he has in hand, I don't know what he has in hand, so yeah, I don't know if there were any options to begin with. 5k onto leader. He counters 1k with the Don Quixote Don Rosinante. I don't even know how, how many, we are at 7 done for what I'm seeing, there's 3 done left to put on my board, so yeah, we are at 7 done. We swing 7 onto leader, he takes, activates Bonnie effect, we did swing 5, first he forgot and now he activated the effect, so yeah. So we did get that 7k swing for free pretty much because he forgot his leader ability. Next is 6 onto leader, he counters with 2k with Viola, Viola, whatever her name is I'm just gonna call her Viola I was I was trying to see if he would tap the Hawkins but it's okay it's better actually so we play the kid blocker and we use our leader ability to place an Ein. Ein gives us one Dawn and the kid blocker gives us one active Dawn so there you go and we pass turn So 9 done on Bonnie, let's see what's the play. Could play, uh, play the Fortress Kid. Uh, she will not get the leader effect though. She swings 5 onto Shashin Penguin, we let it go. I could have, oh no, yeah, I could have blocked. Maybe here I should have blocked. He's at 9, I don't know what I was losing here, because if he played the Hody, he would tap my key, so I should have just uh, blocked here. But I, I let it go. I don't know, man. He, there was no need to save my, my Shashin Peng. We have pretty good board and we had pretty good cards in hand, so yeah. Finally, that was actually pissing me off. I actually set up my deck and trash closer to me so we can see the board better. <laughs> he swings 7 onto Ein. We are going to let go. And he plays Cavendish. Effect of Cavendish makes him give 2 active down, so he pretty much a 3 cost, so to speak. And then use all the rest of the Dawn for another Hawkins. But Bonnie does not have the leader effect. Which, by the way, I do forget. <laughs> I forgot, so I, my start, uh, the starting of the turn is a bit messy. Because I make the first swing and then I, that's when I realize he has no active Dawn. So, yeah. As you guys can see, 7k here. I could have made first a swing with leader because he couldn't rest anybody, but I make with queen. He blocks with Hawkins and counters with Bartolomeu. 1k, that's fine. I don't know how many we tap. We tap 4 for Raju. We are lower down. Yeah, I wanted to see something. I needed a Gordon here to to uh, so I could try to bottom deck Cavendish and we do see it. There you go, we did get the Gordon. So yeah, Gordon, I shall decrease Cavendish power and use leader effect. 
bottom deck in Cavendish and we are going to be playing a Beppo. Beppo gives us rested on, Kid Blocker gives us one active on and I will swing six with Ayn onto leader. He takes, oh I think I saw baby five there, don't know. There you go, I pass turn. Ten on on Bonnie. Let's see. We could get hit of with a 10 cost of Flamingo here. He would get good value. He would uh, freeze exactly three cards on the field. Leader and Ein and Queen. Five onto Ein. We just block with kids. I was thinking about I I was like thinking he was going to ten Dofi me. So I was like he probably just gonna swing seven onto my Ein now and then just play the Dofi. But I I I wanted that because I wanted to make bigger swings next turn because I would be at nine on. I could just make really good uh, swings and set up for game next turn because we are three lives, so we are pretty comfortable. He's making me some question. I think he, he asked me what, how many, how much dawn I have as a whole. He kept. I don't know why he kept asking me if I was going to be at ten dawn next turn. I don't know why. I know what difference it would make. Asking for the dawn, it's fine because he could know how many swings or big swings I could do. But he kept asking me uh, if I was going to be at 10 dawn next turn. I don't know if that influences this something. I don't know, to be honest. He plays the Fortress Kid. Uh, he activates the effects. Um, attaching one dawn, but he does not play anything with it and passes turn. So we need to swing onto Fortress Kid and he can tap one of our uh, characters with, um, with his leader ability. So yeah, so we're at 9 on. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna give you in on a little secret. I could just bottom deck the Kid Fortress right away, but I decided to just make 8k swings, uh, we swing 8k with Beppo and get the Dawn back, to try and bait out something out of his hand. Because I knew he wasn't that big of a with a hand size, he could counter out of every attack, we swing 3 again, uh, 8k again, he counters with Cavendish, and now we are just gonna let our Beppo go, because we have too much cards in on the field. We play Gordon, Gordon the please 3k on Fortress Kid, we play Otama, the Chris is 2k, now he's at 3k exactly. I use Litter Ability, we'll bottom deck the Fortress Kid, so we got two cards out of hand and we still bottom deck fortress kid and what we are playing is the the 2k blocker sanji purple we get a dawn back thanks to kid blocker and we swing 7k onto leader he takes and we pass turn so is that one life we got three lives so we are pretty good i decided not to swing with ein he would just block and i could have swung with queen but I, I don't know, I wanted to try and bait out a holdy to tap 2. And he would tap the 2 blockers, so that's fine. That would be fine. If he made such a big play there, he would be out of dawn pretty much. So he, he would just kind of maybe take away 2 bodies, but from what I had in hand, I would be fine. He attacks 7k onto Raju. So we just let it go. He could still make the, the play the, with the Hody. He would still take away two bodies. I had a counter to save at least one. But he, maybe he doesn't have the Hody in hand. Okay, so he plays the Bonnie, the character, freezes my kid blocker. And he uses a lot of down here. And plays the... Okay, so he used the, 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 all of that on to play Bonnie and the blocker Rosinante. 
He has three cards in hand, so we are pretty safe. We have good amounts of swings. I'm gonna make seven. He's going to block. He's going to tap one, which is queen, and he's going to block. It's okay, I knew he was going to tap queen. We still had the Sanji, so yeah. We are going to swing seven onto leader. He does take. I was thinking about the block with Hawkins. Maybe he's holding on to that Hawkins a bit too much. But I, he was afraid of my hidden killer. He does use the... I use the queen. Return one dawn. Draw two and discard one. I discard a, a Zorjuro. Get one the active dawn back thanks to kid blocker. Here, I was about to activate my leader build, yeah. So, but I, I do go back, I go back. I'm like, because I was going to play safe and let my uh, Sanji blocker active, but I decided, you know what, I have three lives, there's no way he's going to end next turn, so I'm just going to try and bait out finally his uh, Hawkins block. We swing on to leader, he just blocks, obviously. And now we use the leader ability. Sending three down back. We just discard our Ein. And we play a Reiju. Drawing plus two. And I think we pass turn. Yeah, there you go. We pass turn. I'm just organizing my field. Okay, let's see. He's thinking really hard. He's in, I think he lost, not gonna lie. Right here, I think we can assume he lost. He swings 7 onto blocker kid. I counter 1k. He swings Bonnie, 6 to 6, so I just need to counter 1k. I, I, block, I counter with another copy of kid blocker. We just need to protect board here. There's no need to protect lives. He uses tap stand on to act, to put a Hawkins and a Huroj. Pass a turn, Huroj ability, activating one Don. So he has two blockers, uh, three cards in hand, four cards in hand. He just gives up. So yeah, we just won the game. It's okay. Tomorrow there will be another game, so stay tuned for that. And I hopefully in the future I'll just get better angles with the camera and so on. Sorry, this was I was very new to doing this. I still think you guys can see the cards that I play. So hopefully you guys can still enjoy the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.